The Wallbox Pulsar Plus is one of the most popular chargers on the market. It's compact, stylish and pretty affordable. What's not to like? Well, stay with us as we take a look at the design and build quality of the unit, what the app is like to use and pass our final verdict. By the way, we have plenty of other product reviews on the way, so to make sure you don't miss them, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, let's get on with the video. Before we do get stuck in, there's one other thing you should know about our reviews. We base them on real life feedback from hundreds of our customers who we have installed chargers for. Of course, we do our own in-house testing too, but it's nice to know it's not just me you're hearing from, but also from people who use these products on a daily basis. So what is the Wallbox Pulsar Plus all about? Well, it's a compact unit and at this price point, it's probably the best looking. It has a nice curvaceous style to it, while the glossy finish adds to the overall high quality look. The logo is prominent and you also have this LED ring which will glow green when charging or change colour depending on the status. For example, it will glow amber if you use the remote locking function and more on that later. You can get it in two colour options, black or white. There's not much between them to be honest and both look as good as each other in my view. It's all very tidy and well thought out and perhaps that's to be expected considering Wallbox is one of the biggest charger manufacturers in the world. I can't really fault the design at all. It feels really nice to the touch as well and you can see how compact it is measuring just 166mm by 163mm, smaller than my head at least. Some may find the plastic finish a little disappointing, but the build quality is excellent. It's certainly above par for chargers in this price bracket, that's for sure. While we have known a few instances where the outer casing has scratched quite easily, that has been pretty rare, but it's certainly worth pointing out. Other features to note on the hardware? Well, it has built-in earthing protection, which basically avoids the need for an earth rod to be installed at your property. That's a nice bonus and makes installation neater, simpler, and avoids the extra expense of the earth rod itself. It's only available as a tethered unit, which isn't a problem as most people prefer to have the cable attached to the device anyway. And if you want to learn more about the pros and cons of tethered chargers and untethered chargers, or maybe you want to know what on earth that means, then watch our video all about it. You can click on the banner in the top corner or in the link in the description below. But don't do it just yet. Watch this video first and then that one. The cable that comes attached with the wall box is five meters long and is of really good quality. It even has the wall box logo on the side. See? Not a huge selling point, admittedly, but it shows you the length that Wallbox has gone to to maintain high quality. On a side note, the Wallbox's charging gun has two missing holes. Don't worry, they aren't actually missing. These are only needed for the 22 kilowatt three-phase version of the unit, and since most properties can't make use of that, then Wallbox has obviously decided to remove it. We've had some customers worry that it's the wrong charger or there's a fault with the charging gun. So if your charging gun looks like this and you've ordered the 7.4 kilowatt unit, then that's absolutely correct. Speaking of 22 kilowatts, there are two power outputs to choose from, 7.4 kilowatts or 22. The 22 kilowatt version is obviously more powerful and can charge your vehicle quicker, but it does cost more, plus most properties and vehicles can't take advantage of this. To find out why, then watch our video on 22 kilowatt three-phase charging, but not just yet, after this one. So most of you will be opting for the 7.4 kilowatt version, which is about three times faster than a standard domestic socket. And that's plenty fast enough for those overnight top-up charges where really you're just recovering the miles that you've used that day. To enable those overnight charges, you're going to need to set a schedule. 
Fortunately, the Warbox Pulsar Plus has a scheduling feature built into the app, so you can tell the car when to start charging and when to stop. Why would you do that? Well, you obviously want the vehicle charged before you set off each day, but setting up a charge window also allows you to take advantage of lower electricity prices if your energy provider offers them. Now, charging apps should be easy to use across the board, considering that's the main way you interact with your charge point. Yet, a lot of them are quite difficult to navigate and use. Fortunately, Wallbox has seen sense and kept its app simple. In fact, it's one of the best out there. Bold colors and large buttons make it easy to navigate around the app. This makes setting up a charge schedule easy too. Diehard EV fans may find the lack of advanced options frustrating, but in all honesty, most people don't care about clever functions or features. They just want the charger and app to work and be simple to operate. There are some neat additions though, like the ability to remote lock and unlock the charger through the app, and you can change the power output as well. I'm not sure most people will touch that part of it, but it's nice to have, I suppose. It will also show your charging history, including the amount of power used and for how long the vehicle charged for. One thing I didn't mention earlier was how the wall box connects to your smart device. It has both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The initial setup is completed using Bluetooth, although you can control the wall box using this if you're within 10 meters, but you will want to connect it to your home Wi-Fi. This is pretty easy to do, and once completed, you can make changes on the fly wherever you are. The Wi-Fi is also crucial for the unit to receive firmware updates from Wallbox, which may fix bugs or other issues, or even make improvements to the system. So it all sounds like the perfect product. It's affordable, it looks good, it's easy to use. All of that is true, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention any of the downsides. And the one major issue I have seen and some customers have experienced is the poor customer support that Warbox can offer. I should stress that most customers don't experience any issues with their products or apps, and therefore they have no need to contact Warbox support in the first place. However, Bugs with software and charging issues do occur from time to time, and the customer support from Wallbox's Barcelona-based team is inconsistent at best. They are perfectly pleasant and they definitely want to help, but the service so far has been quite slow and unresponsive. It's something to be mindful of and is certainly not a clear warning from me against this product because the unit and app itself is very, very good. Also, the rapid growth of the entire EV industry has caught many companies off guard, believe it or not, and they haven't always had the manpower ready for that growth. Now, we know Warbox is working very hard to expand and improve its customer service. By the time you come to watch this review, it may already have done just that. It's worth checking out the customer comments on the product on our website, or elsewhere online just to be sure. In summary, the Wallbox Pulsar Plus is still a strong proposition for those who want a compact, stylish EV charger that has a simple and easy to use app for scheduling, not to mention the attractive price point. Wallbox is one of the few companies that has made an easy to follow and intuitive app interface, making setting up charge schedules very simple. It's a shame then that the customer support lets it down at the time of recording this review. If you can live with that, and most people won't need any customer support anyway, then the Pulsar Plus is hard to beat. Its only real competitor in this price bracket is the Omi Intelligent Wall Charger, which offers smarter software with more advanced features and works automatically with tariffs like Octopus Agile. You can find out what we thought of the OMI in our OMI review by clicking in the banner at the top. If style, simplicity and an easy to use app is more important to you though, then the Wallbox Pulsar Plus should definitely be on your option list. So on to the final ratings then. In terms of design, 
The Warbox Pulsar Plus is one of the best looking products out there. It has a really nice finish, it's a good build quality, and I really can't fault it, so it has to get five out of five. The build, again, it is up there. It's not the best on the market, but for this price bracket, I don't really think you could be looking for much better than this. So four out of five in this case. Reliability, well, there have been some issues with the product, but again, most of the time, most people don't experience any particular problems. So I'm not gonna score it any lower than four out of five here. In terms of the app features, well, as I said, it's an easy to use app, but it's quite limited in terms of the functionality. There's a nice locking feature, which other products don't have, but I can't give it any more than three out of five. It's not to say it's bad on features, but it just doesn't have as many as some of the other products on the market. What about the ease of use for the app? Well, that's where Warbox scores very highly indeed. It's the easiest app on the market to use for me right now, so I'm gonna give it five out of five. And then finally, customer support. I can only give it two out of five. It's quite hard to rate this because a lot of people won't need that customer support because the device is pretty reliable. And as I said, most people won't need to contact Warbox in the first place. But in my experience, when they have, it has been a little bit slow and the service has been inconsistent. So unfortunately, it's gotta be two out of five. I hope that Warbox review has been helpful. If you have any questions or you wanna tell others about your experience of the Pulsar Plus, then leave a comment down below. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. And remember, we make tutorial videos, explainer videos, and product reviews like this every single week. So if you don't wanna miss them, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, see you next time.